Hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today we're going over a full guide for Zenitsu Aguyama from the Entertainment District style. This version of Zenitsu is kind of similar to the regular version of Zenitsu in that he plays the similar playstyle where he tries to fish for a lot of little hits where he doesn't do much huge damage, but he does gets damage a lot, if that makes sense. He doesn't do big damage, but he gets a lot of damage because he gets damage frequently. <laughs> I think that makes sense, right? He gets a lot of little red combos, a lot of small combos, but that adds up really quickly when you get combos as frequently as he does. Uh, let's just get straight into it. His regular attack strings are obviously the exact same as um, regular Zenitsu's, because, you know, they just reuse things, so, you know, all these same strings we've seen before. Unfortunately, he can't combo off of his down string like he can in his regular version, which is a little bit unique. But um, yeah, they're all kind of pretty good attacks. The only bad thing about his attack strings is that the first hit doesn't use a sword, so it kind of has a little worse range than most other Demon Slayers. So make sure when you're trying to use your attack, you do the tilt version of your attack in, where you're holding the movement stick, because that makes him go a little bit further. And even though it makes it a little bit slower, it's definitely worth it. Right, um... So... Yeah, his regular buttons, all pretty normal. His aerial tilt is, you know, the same. Starts red. Nothing too interesting about it, except it's pretty good that it keeps him in the air. This is just like regular Zenitsu. It's cool that he gets to hover in the air for a while, so if there's some kind of obstacle on the floor, like maybe some grounded projectiles or something, and he wants to stay in the air for longer, or if the opponent has not really attacks a hit high in the air, he can kind of just hover around in the air above them and then hit them with that dive kick. And his tilt attack on the ground is also really good. This is just regular Zenitsu stuff, but I'm just recapping. It's cool how it's safe because it hits so far away. So you can be charging this up and hit the opponent like all the way over there. So if, maybe if they wake up from their recovery and you hit them with this all the way over there, it's it's pretty good. You can't really combo off of it unless you cancel into your dash in. Oops. Unless you dash cancel it and then you can get a combo. But usually I wouldn't really recommend it because you're not going to get too much off of it. Just appreciate the fact that you have an armored attack that is really coolly ranged. And his grab, just like regular Zenitsu, doesn't have too great speed or too great startup, but does recover really quickly. But the really good thing about it is that it leads to a, such a long hard knockdown that, um, let me just spend some meter. <laughs> when I hit the opponent with it, maybe with some, like, cheeky reset into a grab or something, it leads to such a long hard knockdown that he can stand here for ages and build back, like, two bars guaranteed of his meter, which is super, super, super useful, especially when you are a character like Xenitsu that likes meter. But yeah, it, it's really, really amazing. And uh, yeah, then as for his movement, his sidestep is one of the sidesteps that kind of bring him straight to the ground when he's in the air. So that means he can go air to the ground really quickly, which is, you know, not something all characters can do. And uh, yeah, other than that, his movement is pretty quick. His dash in, oh, it's kind of average, I think. But now let's get into the special moves, because that's where it gets interesting. So, his special one, or his neutral special, or standing special, whatever you want to call it, his lightning burst, is actually a fully new attack. It's this interesting Rekka style move, where he gets to um, a follow-up to this regular hit. So he can press the button twice to get a total of three hits. The first two hits he can combo off of, just by doing some attacks, which is really, really handy, because it leads to super easy combo extensions, and it keeps the opponent on the ground. The third hit it can be cancelled into anything like a dash up or a, a DP or your thunderclap and flash, and this kind of just lets him do a little bit more unique versions of his weird stuff that he likes to do, where he teleports or um, goes back and forth with this. But he can, you know, throw in some other special moves like this in the middle of it if he feels like it. <laughs> and um, the main use of this special move is usually combo filler like what is really good and we'll get to is he can actually special cancel his thunder cap and fash we'll get to it but um he can cancel it and then get combos thanks to his um lightning burst and because it's kind of this um wrecker style situation where he has a follow-up it can make the cup the attack kind of good as a pressure thing especially because he moves himself really far forward when he does it like he travels pretty far and so if the opponent does a pushback or something, he's right back in on the opponent. And they can be kind of scared to do attacks afterwards, because they don't know if you're going to do the follow-up or not. 
and you can do the follow-up for free, so you can kind of vary in your pressure whether you do the follow-up or not. So sometimes I think it's worthwhile not doing the follow-up, and you can just get some free attacks afterwards and you get to reset your pressure. But then if you do do the follow-up, you know, you can dash cancel it, and by that time you've probably dealt a decent chunk of their guard meter, and it's probably going to break. And because it's guard cancelable, I mean dash cancelable, you could obviously do some sneaky dashes into a grab, as you saw there, that was pretty hard to react to because of all the dust and stuff on the screen. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's a pretty good pressure tool, especially because you can, you know, cancel it um, at any point. So you can cancel into a dash after the first hit, or cancel into a grab, um, dash grab into the sec off of the second hit. And it's just very safe because you can cancel it into other things, and you can cancel into his other special moves. It's just very, very good, and it ties his whole kit together. And in the air, it's also very good because it brings him very far forwards, just like the grounded version. And it's a really good way of kind of just having like this, essentially a dive kick that reaches really far. And depending on the height he's doing it from, if he's done like a jump step side kick, he can get combos from it. Uh, see, depending on the height, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm mistaken. Yeah, maybe not. But uh, it's very good, and it reaches really far. Okay, and now for his tilt special, his Thunderclap and Flash. Just like regular Zenitsu, except this one is a little newer, and in my opinion, a little better. It's got a lot of things about it that are pretty, pretty cool. Um, so, for starters, it can be special cancelled. Not only just into itself, like regular Zenitsu's, where, cause, so he can still do the classic... <laughs> that craziness, but he can actually cancel it into other special moves, most notably his special one, or his neutral special, because he can combo off of that. So you get to go for things like this, and just get free combos off of any lightning of um, any thunderclap that you manage to hit, which is very powerful and really, really good, because that's something that regular Zenitsu was known for, is just getting all these stray hits with his thunderclaps, but usually he has to combo off of them using his support. But now in this version, he can just combo off of it for free, Use it. Oops. Um, if he just spends a little bit extra meter, which is really, really powerful. And you might be wondering, surely there's a catch. And there is a little bit of a catch. You can't actually special cancel it. Um, unless it is uh if he if it hits on guard. So I'm mashing the special move button, and as you can see, I can't cancel it into my lightning burst. So you might be like, oh damn, it's really punishable then because you can't cancel it. Well, it can't be cancelled into special moves on guard, but it can be cancelled into your regular actions. So you can cancel it into a jump or a sidestep or something to keep it safe. But most notably, you can just keep it plus by cancelling into a dash in, and you continue your offense that way. And that leads to an option select that this move has, where you can um, get the, uh, the best of both worlds, where if it hits the opponent, you'll get a combo, and if it, the opponent blocks it, you will dash in to continue your offense, making it not only safe, but plus. So if you do this move, and then press the special move button, just neutral special right as it hits the opponent, so I press it now, I'll go in and do my lightning burst. But then if I just press my dash button a little bit after that, I won't get my dash in if I don't press it multiple times. So I'm going to go tilt special, special dash in, and obviously my dash didn't come out there because he was too busy doing his lightning burst. But if the opponent is blocking, you can't actually cancel into your special moves, and then your dash comes out a little bit later, and then you get to go in and make it plus unblock and all that goodness. And wow, he's already <laughs> broken his guard. So very, very powerful stuff in my opinion. It's pretty, pretty damn cool that he has his thunderclap and flash is a combo starter, or just plus unblock because he can dash cancel it. Really, really powerful stuff, and this is what I'm talking about. He's gonna get so many of these because they have pretty decent tracking, they're super fast, they have a lot of priority, they'll beat regular dash ins and stuff. They're just super, super, super powerful. This is the kind of stuff you're gonna get be getting a lot of random little bits of damage from. Very, very good stuff. And as I'm, you can see here, the same applies for the aerial version. And um, there is more to this special move, there is more things that make it good. As you saw there, you can actually use it as a combo ender because it is a decently long hard knockdown and it is long enough of a hard knockdown that Zenitsu can actually start building meter 
if he uses it as a combo ender. So after this red combo, you know, it's not too much damage, but I can end with it. I'm far away from my opponent, so I can just stand here and build my meter. And it's not even like I have to be careful, like a hard knockdown when I'm left right here and like wait for him to wake up and press buttons. I'm all the way over here, so I can just stand here for a while. It's not like he's going to wake up and mash on me. So I can stand here, basically build all of my meter back. So using it as a grounded combo ender is definitely an option you can also use. And because it comes out so quickly, you can use it even when there's just a tiny sliver of combo um, counter meter left. As you can see in this combo. There's just a little bit, but I'm able to quickly stash in before it gets the blow away effect and get back all my meter. Which is really, really cool. And... Continuing off of its coolness, um, it makes sense to one of the only characters in the game, along with Yahaba, who can actually combo into and out of his boost. So, say I'm really low on meter, um, I've been, you know, spending a lot of meter, and I just managed to get a hit on the opponent, but I don't really have much I can do. I can actually cancel it into my boost and then continue my combo afterwards which I think is just absolutely ridiculous and really, really powerful thing that I haven't seen many um, Zenitsu's abusing yet. So he can just cancel it into boost, and then because it's such a long hard knockdown, he can just dash in afterwards. So this can either mean that you can do combos that like use all of your meter, boost in, and then continue your combo after you've completely refreshed your meter, or if you are already low on meter, which is probably the more likely case because you've been doing, you know, your Zenitsu stuff. You don't really have too much meter to use on combos. You can just boost and then go for your combos again. And it may not be the best combo because you spent a little bit of time going for boost, but the fact that you can get all of your meter back in a combo and continue the combo and get whatever kind of hard knockdown or whatever the hell you want is so crazy to me. Like, like, so if I've done something and I'm like do 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 oh, wait messed it up. So yeah, just pretend I don't have much meter and I just get like a full combo like this. It's taken a bit of time, but I can just boost at the end of the combo. And then, oops, if I go for a grab or something at the end, I can go for some kind of reset. And obviously, my grabs are going to do a lot more damage at the end of my combos. But just the fact that you're able to go into a boost, combo out of it, and do all of this stuff afterwards while you're in boost mode and you just get to go into boost for free is really cool because kind of the only times you get a guaranteed boost mode is if the opponent runs into you and you punish their, like, whatever their attacks are with your boost or if you just, like, use a boost at the end of a combo to blast them away. But this isn't even, like, a combo ender. You can just use it in the middle of your combo and you're just suddenly in boost mode. It is so... So crazy cool, and it has so many applications. Like I mentioned, whether you're low on meter, whether... Or you, you may even have meter, but you just want to spend it and just go completely ridiculous and make it not, you know, not matter at all. Get, get it all back in the middle of the combo just because you wanted to boost. Maybe, you know, I've used all of my Inosuke or I just broke out of a combo, so I want to get my support back. I can just boost in the middle of my combo to get my support back and be continuing my combo, get whatever hard knockdowns I want. It is just so good. And it is so beneficial for a character like Zenitsu, who likes to use a lot of meter, that he can do this. Because he'll be using a lot of meter, and then he can just get it back super, super easily by boosting super, super easily. I just think that is so amazing. And um, I think it's about time I stop talking about this move. But uh, yeah, the aerial version just works pretty similarly to the grounded version. You can cancel it. Oops. You can cancel it into your Lightning Burst to get combos off of it, which is really good. Okay, and now for <laughs> his guard special. It is actually kind of similar to regular Zenitsu's guard special, except it has a way better hitbox. The only thing is that it's not as fast, and it has a little bit more time before he comes invincible, whereas regular Zenitsu's is practically frame one. But um, this one is really good, it has a better hitbox, but it has the same property where he can just dash up for free, which is a really, really awesome property to have on your invincible reversal, which is kind of awesome. Which means he can also use it as part of his, you know, main combo filler, so he can do stuff like this. And stuff like that. That's just an example combo, not very optimal. But the fact that he can use it as a very, very good combo extender is very, very, very handy. 
And um, yeah, obviously it's punishable, but you land it, you get combos of some sort. I wouldn't recommend spending too much meter on it. Just get some kind of hard knockdown to build some meter back if you do land it on its own. And if you are using it in combos, well, um, I don't know, you're lucky. It's really good. And once again, he's not going to be getting too much damage in his combos. 3,400 is still pretty good for a simple BNB. But um, he's just going to be getting a lot of little bits of damage that just add up to murder the opponent. When he's just getting so many grabs, so many little red combos, just flying in from all sorts of the screen and going into burst, always having meter to go into his things. This is what makes him powerful. But now that we've talked about all of his special moves, um, we'll go into the combos. What we'll typically talk about in boost mode and surge mode, his combo ender isn't really something I find myself using. It doesn't do much damage, doesn't lead to a hard knockdown. But um, in surge mode, you know absolutely what is going to happen. You're just going to be uh, doing a bunch of this. And what makes him even better than regular Zenitsu when he's in surge mode is he can actually super easily just like link and link and link and link and link and go into his ultimate because he remains on the ground while he does it. <laughs> Which is kind of the most unnecessarily and most disrespectful combo I could possibly think of. But it is so ridiculous. <laughs> ah, love it so much. But yeah, it's pretty obvious what he's going to be doing in surge mode. And uh, yeah, okay, it's time we actually talk about combos on their own. So, um... There's kind of two combo states you're going to have with Zenitsu, and it's going to be your red combos, which you're going to get pretty often, and you've got a few options for combos you can do in there, and then you've got your orange combos. I'm going to talk about your yellow-orange combos first, because they're actually less common, and it doesn't really matter as much what you do in them, because you can just, you know, kind of float about, do some random stuff, and it'll, it'll be fine. I think the best thing to probably do is just, like, hit confirm, and if you see you get a lightning burst, you can dash cancel it, do something like this, maybe. And you can do your, um... Thunderclap and Flash in the air, up to your aerial attack string. Thunderclap and Flash. Into your DP, and then get a rejump if you want to get a hard knockdown. That's something I find myself doing a lot, because getting a hard knockdown, just make sure you get your meter back. And, you know, if you want to keep your combos cheap, I recommend just going and, like, hit confirming a few hits into your DP. Because you, DP, you know, being able to get a free dash in, just keep it simple and keep it cheap. Oops, make sure you have the right timing or else you'll flail across the screen. But, yeah. His yellow combos... Aren't gonna do too much damage, um, anytime- Oh, I don't know why I'm messing that up. They're not gonna do too much damage either way, so I recommend just making sure you do a combo that you know you're gonna land. And, uh, make sure you get a hard knockdown at the end. That's basically all I recommend. But uh, yeah, when it actually comes to getting high damage, from what I've seen, most people just go into lightning bursts, into stuff like this, and then into what kind of ever enders they want. And it usually ends up being 3000s, um, barely cracking 4000. I think as long as you make sure, yeah, just a few hits into a lightning thing. Like, you're gonna get about 3,000, just make sure you do something that lets you get a hard knockdown so you're not um, wasting too much meter, and uh, you're in a good position to start doing some Oki, like jump on top of them and start doing this stuff. Now, when you get a red combo, that's a lot more likely, and you've got a few options of what you're gonna want to do here. Um, first option... Whoa. First option is, just as we said before, you can actually use your th oops. Thunderclap and Flash as a combo ender. I don't know why I am messing this up. It's been a long day of recording. You can use a Thunderclap and Flash as an ender after a full attack string, and it leads to a long hard knockdown. Decent damage too, and you get to build back all of your meter from it, so that's kind of your kind of your safe way of ending your combos, where you get to build back a bunch of meter, but it's not a ton of damage. You can also go... What I like to do is go for... Um, a throw reset at the end of here 
because that will lead to more damage because of the unscaled throw, and the throw does lead to a hard knockdown as well, where you get to build back a bunch of meter, so that gives you a bunch of meter and a bit more damage, but just because it's a reset, it's not guaranteed. And if you want damage, I suppose you could go for a... I don't know, you can go for a down combo if you want to keep it super cheap, but I think if you want damage, you can do this, and that cracks it a bit over 3,000. But um, you don't get any kind of advantage of any hard knockdown or meter build or anything. And uh, yeah, those are the main options you kind of have. Oh yeah, obviously also you can... Oh yeah, but after you just end your combo sequence and then go like a grab for this, it's just a different way of sneaking in a grab and going in for a grab. As we mentioned, it's good because you get to build a bunch of meter back. And these red combos can happen off of any of his red combo starters, except for probably this, because you're not really get expected to ever get much damage off of this. Um, if you really want to get damage, I don't know, just dash up and do some special moves and pray that it kills. And if you're comboing into an ultimate, uh, just make sure you're grounded and you can super easily combo up off of it if you land any thunderclap and flash because they're left on the ground for so long. So as long as you are near the floor, actually, something I'm curious, I haven't even tested this. If I've done a combo like... Oh, that does work. Okay, there you see. If you've done an aerial attack string and do your thunderclap and flash in the air, the opponent is juggled at just the right height. For you to get an automatic ultimate, you don't even need to time it. You can just mash the button and it'll work. And uh, the last... And most important combo that you're going to need to know for this character is obviously... This. Jesus Christ, just thinking that, that it's crazy how that would be an easy 100% on characters like Akaza. Oh my god. The, the mental damage that would deal on a poor person. <laughs> Anyways, that is Zenitsu. He's a very fun character. I actually really enjoy this version of Zenitsu, even more than the regular version, just because of the interesting OS selections he has where he can either get a combo or keep himself safe by dash cancelling this if it's blocked by the opponent. He has, yeah, it just makes all of his options feel a lot more interesting, and also the thing where he's able to cancel into boost and get all of his, com his meter back in the middle of his combos just feels really, really fun to me. And how he always is able to get hard knockdowns thanks to his DP, um, putting the opponent in the air for a free combo, and how he has so many combo enders that let him build back meter, whether it's getting a hard knockdown from far away, or getting a hard knockdown from close up using his throw, he has so many awesome options, and he's just a damn fun character. I think I'm going to stop ranting now. This is Zenitsu. I hope you enjoyed the guide. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.